year. That certain piece of corner for 500 years. Everybody used to freed me. And when they freed you, they disrespect you. How exactly did you come here? I was summoned from the pits of hell by some woman in Spain playing with black magic who wanted to get revenge against she husband who leaves she for a younger girl. I eventually deal with the husband and young girl. But after 30 years, I realize, but wait now, I turn it all. But then I realize that when a demon is summoned to live an earth in the form of a human, it just turn old and grey, just like that. One night, when I eat up an 18 year old boy, I turn back to my young sexy self again. Jenna knows that young people's flesh is more valuable when it comes to keeping myself young rather than old people's flesh. Plus, it's way bien. Did you really come long to Trinidad in a Spanish ship? I didn't really want to come to Trinidad, you know. I didn't know Trinidad even exist. I actually come down here by accident when I was looking for some young boys to eat up on a ship. I only realized I was in Trinidad when I sneak off the ship in 1551. Anyways, I realized Trinidad has had some real nice young people to eat. I really enjoyed myself for hundreds of years until everybody started to lock up their house. Even that could not stop me. I could slip through small holes and creases when they see them. I could even slip through air conditioned vents. That's where I get in my crawler from. Every 16 years, I just come out to take a bite from young people, 14 to 25. And I was cool about my business like no one. During that time, I used to work as a maid, a nurse, and a receptionist in a clinic. When I was a nurse, I was able to teach some anesthetic and some chloroform. I don't want to cause nobody to scream when they see me. So I just sneak inside the house and I just put them to sleep before I drag them out. You know, when I first met you, I find you smelling well familiar. I remember next to you, you used to smell sweet and nice the same way. You smell like this girl, Crystal Mackenzie. She was my sister! True boy, well tonight's my lucky night. What are you doing? Well, I found that you did interview. I find that I tell you too much, but I will fix that. This is just one of them anesthesia, a thief, when I used to work in the Port of Spain General Hospital. It's just something to put you to sleep. We can't have you boiling down the place. This is certainly a real nice, you know. I sure you will taste even better.
In the days to follow, I learned that this woman, calling herself the Night Prowler, was known to some people as Stacy Ramirez. Stacy Ramirez was actually one of the many aliases that she has been using for hundreds of years. I interviewed an elderly woman who once knew her household name, Juanita Vesquez, bearing the same physical similarities as the Night Prowler. Police searched the night prowler's home and found hundreds of bottles of chloroform and anesthesia. They also found the remains of six teens and young adults. So I end this book with a plea to parents to make the safety of their children top priority in these particularly dangerous times. I would also like to dedicate this book to the memory of all the night prowler's victims. Among them, Crystal McKenzie, who would have been 32 today. Thank you.